This is the story of how I turned Lord Davidson from this into this. So in the last two videos, I made a really realistic version of both Iron Mouse and Yanners using Photoshop. But in today's episode, I don't want to create cute anime waifus. I want a manly, manly male. Someone with astonishing confidence and overwhelming charisma. Someone that sits down while it's pissing on the toilet. So let's get started with our savior and lord, Atheston. For the last two times I tried realistifying both Nyan and Iron Mouse, I had one major enemy in common, the hair. And that's where we start today, his beautiful, luscious hair, benefiting of a king. Strong, thick, Damn. curved, sparkling hair with the furiosity and intensity of royalty. L'Oreal, because you're worth it. So coloring Aethel's hair was quite a challenge since he had white hair that transitioned into a light purple reddish tone. So I had to find the right balance between the two colors. But I like to imagine that this hairstyle is the result of the blood from his injuries he endured on the legendary Uno battlefield where he fought as one of the representatives of the legendary Bane gang. <laughs> Alright, Bane gang, rise up. Next up, for the face. And for the face, I went ahead and... <laughs> I had to get it because... Its face. So I went ahead and reused Nyaner's face texture. I did that because having a similar face texture connects them in a really romantic way and gives you a sweet little reminder that they are the best VTuber couple. And totally not because I'm lazy and out of time for this project since all I did last week is watch Chainsaw Man. Ah yes, the most pristine form of theft, self-plagiarism. <laughs> I usually leave the rest for the face and don't mess with it too much, but to still add some realism, I packed up my inner James Charles and gave him a taste of some fine ass makeup and the power of sisters. Then I added super realistic red eyes that I totally didn't get from the black market of a certain shonen manga that starts with H. And voila, the face of the king. And all it took was some skin texturing, makeup and genocide of the Korta tribe. Nothing better than imperialism for your skincare routine. Next. Let's get some gender equality, since this video was all about manly men, it's time to get some fun for the ladies as well, because we are doing the body, and man, what a body it is. Just look at this beauty. I haven't felt this dirty since looking up Iron Mouse's corset. And to recreate this bod of his, I had to look up countless, and I mean countless, buff shirtless dudes to find the perfect muscle structure and boy oh boy, thank god I'm straight, since otherwise my dick would have exploded with the amount of hot buff shirtless guys I had to look up for this one. Still, nothing wrong with just dragging the reference material in my homework folder just in case. I need to do more homework. Now if you just take a look at the chest part that we decided to use, there is clearly something wrong. I will let you guess for a second. Okay, time is up. Look, it's obvious guys, come on. It's the fact that anime characters have no nipples. Look at all the nippleless men here. It's just a part of the male anime body. Now, I know what my audience of redditors is going to say. Well, hentai characters have nipples, and to that, I would say you're correct. If the word correct would be spelled like this. Because yeah, at first sight it might seem that they have nipples, but then you take a closer look and notice that the characters have no face. So by logic, if anime characters equals no nipples, and if hentai characters equals no face, then that means that nipple equals face. And to prove my theory, take a closer look. Bam! This is not a nipple, it's just nature's worst mistake. A nipple face. And that's why we quickly created Aethel's sick jacket that has the extra benefit of covering those abhorrent things. Now one essential thing that you should absolutely never forget about Aethel is that he is the mightiest entity of the monarchy, a sit piss. I, I, I mean king. Yeah, a king. And you know what a king needs. It's sweet, sweet hip-hop drip. How else would his majesty flex on his fellow aristocratic friends? and comfortably laugh at the peasants beneath him. And so for drip, we took inspiration from the tightest rapper in the village, with so much drip that some say he invented rain, or even worse, Great Britain. Of course, I'm talking about the ancient dripper Tutankhamun. Look at his new ancient Egyptian drip. Hell yeah. And with that, he is ready for the tomb. I, I, I mean throne room. Yeah. And there you have it, his majesty's finest form. And if you ever watch his Aethel, then I hope we can smoke some Venus together like last time, if you know what I mean.
pound of beef on his back. She want a big nut, big slut. Well, I'm out of that. I'm off of both packs.